know that y'all have been through the festival circuit with this film, but mm -hmm. I just have to say this was my first time watching it and I was so blown away. Um, I was truly, um, I had like a visceral experience watching this movie and um, it was so beautiful. And I just want to thank you for just creating such um, an important and lovely, lovely story for us. So thank you. Oh, great. Thank so you. so that you express yourself in such an emotional way. Thank you. It really means a lot to us. Oh, my gosh. I mean, for me, the best stories are ones that educate, create empathy, um, you know, and make us smile and cry along the way, which this film does beautifully. I wasn't I wasn't expecting to laugh as much as I did. <laughs> Good, good. Tell us, tell us to the audience because they think women do cry. It's a tragic that they want, don't want to see. <laughs> well, there's something actually, yeah. yeah. And I think that that's what this film does so beautifully. Like the women are not, especially Maria, your character. No one is victimized. I think that if anything, it shows how women are, you know, survivors and not victims. And um, so wow 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 okay let's get into maria, it just to say that maria yesterday she got an award in spain in bilbao in oh bilbao in spain best performance out of the whole festival of course and uh and it's really for her brave performance which is so unique so extraordinary and, and it's so much happy. on the edge actually it's not average it's not ordinary somehow oh no yeah. uh, I completely agree. Congratulations, Maria. So well deserved. Um, yeah, you're so um, there's a there's a strength in your vulnerability in this performance that is um, so breathtaking to watch. And the, um, the the ups and downs that this character goes through is, um, yeah, it's such a beautifully um, beautiful performance. Well, it's been very inspirational to be working with Mina and Vesua. And, you know, there is something extremely special when women are guiding you through a woman's problem that, yeah. I mean, at the end, only we can understand it, but we are trying to show it to the rest of the world, um, no matter their gender or their sexuality. But it's been just special to be working with strong women that are fighting for our rights and our representation and our place in the world on screen everywhere yeah absolutely it's so true i mean um there's nothing more special i think in this world about um stories like this told through the perspective of of the two of you um let's talk about how this film is a, is not only a love letter to mothers but it's mm -hmm. you know it's shedding light on the resilience of a generation of women um, in pain who, despite that pain, fight every day to be there for each other, to show up for each other, to lean and support each other. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Good for, for our mothers. It's a letter for not only for to all the mothers, but also to all the women. But it's good that you mentioned mothers because we have also in the film a character, a, ma a mother of two daughters who are... Anna and Sonia and Laura, uh, which poor mother, she was, she's attacking from, attack every, from all directions. All directions. <laughs> the father always uh, really make um, humiliate her. Yeah, yeah. Hu yeah. yeah, humiliates her so much. And it's like, uh, it's so difficult to be a mother because you always carry the guilty, the guilt, yeah. the guilt of, uh, of this to be a mother. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah. To us, it was important to have an ensemble piece, a family in which the relationship are quite close and warm, even though they express extremes and, uh, you know, uh, it's the Balkan family. Mm. And um, through this uh, ensemble piece, there is a, like a domino effect that you kind of yeah. hopefully at the end of the day, you realize um that being a woman is a rather complex thing and the responsibility which each of us carries is uh, way beyond uh, uh, what is represented on screen or um, uh, in life. It's just, there is a lot to talk about. 
And uh, j just to go to the mother, the other mother in the film, uh, Veronica, mm. with the baby, the crying baby, the constantly crying baby. It's uh, it's something which okay, maybe it it makes a bit of uh, it's a funny thing because the baby cries doesn't stop crying. <laughs> Even, <laughs> <Or Veronica>. uh, <laughs> it's only yeah. when you say okay um, and the baby also is a woman so yeah. what would be the what would be a, well, a girl what would be the, the the message okay what would be her life as a as a woman what does the future hold <laughs> uh, yeah she's coming she literally comes out kicking and screaming because she knows she's in for a fight And I think that they do always say, I think mothers a lot of times say that having, or at least a lot of my friends who have both baby boys and baby girls say that the girls are more difficult because they express themselves constantly. And I mean, what a metaphor for, it's like, they're already gearing, we're already gearing up for <laughs> what to store. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that y'all beautifully captured the kind of chaos um, that exactly. exudes when you have a group of strong willed, like fiery women in the same room, you have the fighting, but then you have the tears and the joy and the laughter and all <laughs> these, these beautiful expressions. So melted together. Um, and gosh, it's, and that's where a lot of the humor comes in. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd love to talk about the metaphor of the stork. Um, I found it incredibly powerful. Um, I knew right off the bat when this this film started, and the the surgeon who's operating on the on the wounded stork says, "Well, she can have babies and be a mother, but, yeah, um, but she, she can't, can't release into the wild." And I was like, "That gave me chills right away because that is such a metaphor for the way that the world views women." <laughs> um, Maria. How does the film explore the dangers of defining a woman as one thing or by one thing? Because we witnessed that with Mar with um, with your characters, with Sonia's experiences, and that we can see how much pain that causes. Yeah, well, I I'm scared to say, is it still like that in the world? And I hope that it's not going to remain if it is in some place in the world. Um, why women should be put in a label that they should be defined only as a mother, as a housewife, or as a scientist. Why you should not be able to have both career and a family? Somehow this question doesn't exist when there is a man, but for some reason people expect women to be either one way or another, which it's kind of ignorant mm -hmm. uh, from my point of view. And I think the film pretty much fights that description of women which place they are supposed to take and how women are sh should be treated the same way as men as you should not be defined by your gender by your sexual orientation by your religion by your region of origin by your political system even if you want to say mm -hmm. it this way um but it's been it's been interesting to 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 dig there and to see what is it like when especially you have the stigma of a disease that people yeah expect you to be i don't know the walking dead which is pretty much horrifying when you hear something like that or when people start avoiding you for something that you cannot even spread and you can pretty much have the same life you can have children as well we can have a career as well you can even work in the medical center just the the not knowing facts about things and the fear of talking about these themes it's important to be to be seen in the movie um but it's been it's been interesting journey and we worked on the movie for probably over two years and we had the time to go to places to meet with people that have been through that and it's pretty it's pretty empowering in a way that mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna give the mic to people that haven't been heard before and we need we need to hear them to make the world better Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Beautifully said. Um, it's so true. And I think that we see, we see that Sonia goes through this range of emotions because there's so much, of course, she's going through the pain of just 
you know, with the diagnosis, which is, which is a hard pill to swallow. And, and then she goes through feeling the shame and the guilt uh, because of the stigma. And it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. And, um, and yeah, gosh, it's just, and again, your performance is just breathtaking. Um, it, it is. A, and I think that's, I'm so sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to say something earlier, but I didn't know how to describe it. And I think I finally created a way to say it. Um, <laughs> it's very special because it shows how women are so sensitive in a way that usually we've been taken as weak. And actually it's quite the opposite because it takes a lot of strength to stand up out there and to express your feelings, your emotions, your deepest fears. You can scream, you can cry, you can laugh, but it's way more challenging and scary to be honest about your feelings instead of hiding it. So that's why I think women do cry as an equivalent of women are strong from my point of view. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Hell yes. And I think too, taking back something that like I said, when the baby, the baby cries, she's not crying because she's weak. She's not crying because she has a lot to she's say. She's going to express herself, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. She's got a lot to say. She's communicating. Um, and I think that's the thing. When we cry, we're sort of communicating with ourselves. We're getting in touch that's with the right. emotions. <laughs> um, and, and we were so blessed to have uh, to have found actress like Maria, who just goes so much beyond any limits. Yeah. And ex- and deals with freedom, which she, she chooses. The tools are freely chosen, and her where you can see her incredible training. In fact, she's very very talented and uh, gifted in in this oh, one. It's I good. It's more. good when you have an actor when you switch on the camera, <laughs> and then mm-hmm. and then suddenly goes wow! Yeah. Like everything is like. Wow! And <laughs> so brave, so like uh, crazy, like and, a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and yes, this is this is a big ability. I think it's kind of a huge talent, uh, and also that you don't think about yourself. Mm, you just yeah. go to the, this extreme, but you don't look at yourself from from a distance, and you say, oh, "You control yourself. Uh, how I look? And Do I look exactly. beautiful?" <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm crying here, but maybe my makeup will go yeah. and I will I will become ugly. No way. Yeah. Exactly. She's like, wow. <laughs> and just goes uh, for it. <laughs> and, I it's, love that. and it's very good to have such a such uh, I, I I think in American films now that she's she's doing and she already shot. We we often think of the success of Maria and think this is probably you go to the 95% and she goes to the 105 because she can pass, she can be as free and she can be explosively um, yeah. um, expressive. Yeah, because we never, we don't stop the camera. <laughs> we then continue. <laughs> and you don't know what will happen next. Then you say, oh my God, oh my God, again, again. And it's interesting, uh, which is uh, this uh, improvisation. It's a sharp mind. Mm. So you are so into the scene. Intuition. Mm-hmm. Uh, so well, much into the scene. So you don't you don't leave it. <laughs> it sounds like this experience was of making this film was extremely collaborative. And it and it seems like everyone came to work every day with their heart just wide open, um, ready to Absolutely. give them all give give it their all. And I think that it comes through in these in the, in the performances. And, um, I, I was incredible. I felt incredibly empowered. I, I obviously, you know, cannot relate to the Bulgarian female experience yet. Um, which for me that this was a huge education and I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy that also, you know, the world can now have an understanding of that experience Mm. and that knowledge, which I think is so important.